Hello, and welcome to this SEGO Systems technical training session. This session provides an introduction to the SEGO I.O. Director and SEGO Systems technology. Server platforms are becoming faster and smaller. As virtualized workloads demand more capabilities and flexibility, it is painfully obvious to IT organizations that traditional physical I.O. cannot meet the requirements of modern data centers. I.O. virtualization technology allows you to replace fixed-purpose I.O. cards with virtual resources and scale to meet current and future requirements. Virtual I.O. offers dynamic connections from any server to any network or storage device in seconds without server reboots. SEGO simplifies server connectivity by replacing multiple physical Ethernet and fiber channel interfaces with a single InfiniBand card, or two cards for redundancy. Each InfiniBand card supplies 40 gigabits of bi-directional bandwidth that can be dynamically allocated between network and storage resources. Many Ethernet and fiber channel cables are replaced by a single InfiniBand cable. In a typical deployment, one immediate business benefit is a 70% reduction in cards and cables. The SEGO I.O. Director delivers two types of virtual interfaces, virtual NIC and virtual HBA interfaces. These SEGO virtual interfaces behave like their physical counterparts, but provide the following benefits. Deploy on demand. Add as required without adding cards or rebooting servers. Scalable. Deploy dozens of virtual interfaces to a server. Mobile. Move interfaces between servers without changes to data center infrastructure. Quality of service. Provides guaranteed bandwidth for predictable performance. Like physical interfaces, each virtual interface is given a unique identifier from a pool of addresses assigned to each SEGO I.O. director. Virtual NICs get MAC addresses, and virtual HBAs get worldwide names. The following hardware and software components in the SEGO I.O. Director provide the fundamental building blocks to deliver SEGO Virtual I.O. to servers. High-speed InfiniBand fabric. This low-latency, reliable fabric allows 24 direct server connections or scales to hundreds of servers using expansion switches. Each server receives 40 gigabits of bi-directional bandwidth. A standards-based subnet manager runs on the SEGO system control processor to build and manage the InfiniBand fabric. SEGO I.O. modules. Choose from Ethernet and Fiber Channel hot swappable modules for the SEGO I.O. director. Each module delivers dozens of virtual interfaces to any server attached to the high-speed InfiniBand fabric. 10-port, 1 gigabit Ethernet I.O. module. This card supports up to 160 virtual NIC interfaces. Link aggregation is also supported on this I.O. module. One port 10 gigabit Ethernet I.O. module. This card supports up to 128 virtual NIC interfaces. Two port 4 gigabit fiber channel I.O. module. This card supports up to 128 virtual HBA interfaces. The System Control Processor, or SCP, is the management platform for the SEGO I.O. Director. Through the command line interface, or the SEGO Management System GUI, configuration changes are applied to the I.O. Director. Physical access to the Ethernet or serial management ports is made through the Management Interface Board at the rear of the I.O. Director. The SCP does not participate in the data path. In addition to the SEGO I.O. Director, the following hardware and software components complete the path to deliver SEGO virtual interfaces to servers. The host channel adapter in each server consolidates network and storage connectivity. Each HCA can deploy dozens of virtual interfaces within the server. SEGO host drivers provide the software support necessary to manage both the HCA and the virtual interfaces. If connectivity to more than 24 servers is required, you can fan out using 24 or 36 port expansion switches. These expansion switches are equivalent to the InfiniBand expansion switches in blade chassis. InfiniBand has a long history providing high-speed, low-latency interfaces. 
There are 24 InfiniBand ports at the back of the Seago I.O. director that connect to physical servers or InfiniBand expansion switches. InfiniBand was originally conceived to connect systems to high-performance I.O. in clustered and high-performance computing environments. Features like Remote Direct Memory Access, or RDMA, contribute to the high-performance characteristics of InfiniBand. InfiniBand is designed to be centrally managed. The subnet manager is responsible for discovering the physical topology, assigning local addresses, defining paths between any two devices, monitoring the fabric, and managing changes in the fabric. Every InfiniBand fabric needs a subnet manager. The basic InfiniBand communications link runs at 2.5, 5, or 10 gigabits per second. They are known as single data rate, or SDR, double data rate, or DDR, and quad data rate, or QDR, respectively. Furthermore, these individual links can be packaged into cables that contain 1, 4, or 12 links. So a DDR cable with 4 links provides 20 gigabits of bidirectional communication. This cable is called a 4X cable. Currently, the Seago I.O. Director uses 4X DDR ports. The Seago I.O. Director is a 4U or 2U enclosure with enterprise class hardware features designed for the data center. These features include redundant load sharing and hot swappable fans and power supplies. All cabling is routed to the rear of the Seago I.O. Director. This includes power cables, management interface cables, InfiniBand cables for connectivity to the host servers, and Ethernet and fiber channel cables for connectivity to data center resources. The management interface board is always present and provides Ethernet and serial management interfaces, as well as a USB port. The main components of the InfiniBand fabric board are three 24-port InfiniBand switch chips that provide a switched fabric between the 24 server ports and the 15 I.O. module ports. This architecture supports the basic design goal of consolidating virtual I.O. from many servers onto fewer physical I.O. ports on the I.O. modules. The system control processor is the management focal point for all the processes running on the Seago I.O. director. It runs and monitors the management processes, a Postgres SQL database, the command line interface, and other supporting software. However, once the virtual interfaces are configured, the system control processor does not participate in the communications over the data path. The IS24 or IS36 expansion switches allow more servers to be connected to a Seago I.O. director. A fat tree network design provides efficient communications between any server and the Seago I.O. director. Although any number of uplinks between the expansion switches and the Seago I.O. director are possible, using two, four, or eight uplinks are preferred. Also, to ensure the paths through the InfiniBand fabric are consistent across all interswitch links, use ports 1 through 4 and ports 17 through 20 on the Seago I.O. director first. Additional expansion switches can use any of the remaining ports on the Seago I.O. director. This slide shows all the components working together in an overall view of the communications that flow through the Seago I.O. director. Data path number one is the most common. Data comes from the host server, through the host drivers and the HCA, to the chassis, where it is routed to the proper physical interface to carry it to its destination. Data path number two uses only the InfiniBand fabric for server-to-server -server communications. This requires server software capable of using InfiniBand. Virtual I.O. of the Seago I.O. Director is not required for this data path. Data path number three can be achieved when configuring two virtual interfaces on a single I.O. module port. This is also known as VNIC to VNIC switching. Traffic bypasses the network and is contained completely within the Seago I.O. Director. VNIC to VNIC switching provides an isolated, high-performance network link between servers attached to the Seago I.O. Director. Achieving full data path redundancy requires two Seago I.O. directors. Virtual interfaces are configured on each I.O. director and presented to the servers. Multipath software on the host manages the two data paths. These redundant architectures also require redundant InfiniBand fabrics. As is the case with redundant SAN architectures, independent InfiniBand fabrics 
provide complete hardware and data path redundancy.